Now this abnormality that appeared on day 15, it was certainly unique. Yeah, there was no other way of playing it. Yeah, I'll cover that. I had to have standard procedure a little tighter than usual because I had three agents in each department. Not an ideal situation, but had to make do to complete the mission. Now this abnormality in the training department. Yeah, the training department. That's where it was. Instead of attachment, it has commission. Well, I found out what that did. An indigo dawn ordeal was coming. Although I had more important things to focus on. A couple of tool abnormalities needed dealt with. Yeah. Problems don't go away if you ignore them. Well, I didn't put it to the test. Yeah, I found the repression works on this abnormality works best. Although that didn't guarantee a good result. I found out that this abnormality caused black damage. Damage both to the mind and the body. And it... Its name translated to The Hunter. Yeah. He was German. It was at this point I decided to flush the ordeal out. <sighs> Bring forth the purple blob. Or rather, purple blobs. even with numbers severely limited. A few agents were more than capable of dealing with them. And by dealing with them, either shoot it or hit it until 
they're all dead. Basically, if there are any others that weren't finished, well, they came to the aid of those who were still fighting. And that was that ordeal dealt with. As per usual, once the agents were healed up, it was back to work. Well, I couldn't leave couldn't let them get back to work until they were patched up enough. Then I learned that repression was best, attachment was worst. Inside and instinct were somewhere in between. Well, I knew what to train justice with. Well, I did now. the Indigo Dawn ordeal. This is going to be more difficult. Or 
although I had a decent enough idea to combat it. Yeah, it was time for a third. Against Harmony of the Skin. All combat ready agents? Well, they're all sent against it. ourselves for the oh no clowns and because of the limited numbers I decided to send two teams against each one and this couldn't be our worst time I looked after the other clowns and, oh, yeah, the security department. They were slow moving, but the quip off counter and stole pee boxes. Oh, 1.76 megahertz. Yeah. That was the last one that the clowns drained or at least tried to. No more abnormalities, I mean, ordeals to worry about. We went back to standard procedure, including the hunter. As there was still more research to do on that.
It was found that the commission was to have him shoot a bullet which could pierce. And the seven bullet, well, had no control over that. And if anyone was level three justice, they'd be okay, but anyone lower, well, it wouldn't be, well, let's just say it wouldn't be healthy.
only one long-range gun could be made, along with probably the most effective suit so far. Bass wasps could be made from the hunter's research. And before this day was over, I wanted both to be made. And it was then I found out that the commission, well, it did what I promised. And I should, if I did need to use it, I should use it sparingly. Because as the research found, the seventh one had, well, would have no control. Basically, it'll fire wherever it wants. And I was guessing that if the quick half counter goes to zero, a shot would be fired. Since the hunter didn't have any info on whether or not he escaped. Well, it didn't want to escape. Nor were there's. Nor was there any. Where stopping the bullets. Something derived from some kind of unholy magic. Yeah. Describing something as unholy. The irony. Especially for down here, wasn't lost.
after all the research on the hunter was done, I decided to read up on it. Well, the only thing left to do after that, have replacement weapons made. Weapons that got destroyed after the gamble for alt belief and purpose, or whatever it's called. Destroy them. Yeah, I can't believe the spear got destroyed. As that one was a little more expensive. It was then, on day 16, that B talked about the second truth. About how little I knew about the company. And that I wasn't the first manager that they talked to. And how they were exploited. Yeah, that's how we put it. Saying that I was special. Yeah, I didn't believe that. Or any other encouragement they gave me. Didn't really trust the company. Yeah, I said. Yeah, everyone wants to work here. Energy harvest, that's part of it. And apparently, this company runs deeper. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, idealism eroded over time. Then I had my first full meeting with Hoot, who apparently thought I was angry with her. She was in charge of the training department. And seemed to take her role seriously wanting to prevent accidents happen. Angelo said there were 40% that could have been avoided. Yeah, they could have been avoided. Providing employees with work manuals and training. Yeah, I can see how that could minimize casualties and accidents. Well, she wasn't full of herself, so... She seems to be the most stable of the AIs. Perhaps the most honest. And she admitted that employees lost their sanity from time to time. Although she didn't work with the abnormalities herself. She wanted to make sure that the employees didn't lose their minds themselves. Then Tiffany, one of the employees, thanks her for Helping her to keep her mind together. Although, Hood was modest about it. Well, she did a better job than Mount Cove. Not much worse, sir. She let things get a little out of hand. No hold though. And after the meeting, and after Tiffany went back to her duties. She told me that she wanted to help. And then gave me a mission to promote a couple of employees. Well, I'll need to do a lot of works to do that, but... Well, that's what I was thinking, but it was doable. Hmm. Yeah. The security team completion, well, that could wait. Since it wasn't limited to three agents per team, I could afford to assign the other agents that I held back. Well, they got the day off. To where there were openings. Where they might be needed most. few more level fives in places. 
Well, be always woke. Because that means agents which could handle themselves. I mean, that required a lot of investment just to get them that good. Not to mention making sure they didn't die. At this point it was... A little over a couple weeks without... Without my agents dying. Considering the high turnover with my position, I was guessing that there weren't a lot of others who could say that. There was probably a time when a manager lasting a week was laughable. Well, a few higher up probably weren't laughing when they found out that I lasted this long without anyone dying. Oh, yeah, sorry. I allocated the lob point between the different agents. And that works out. <sighs> Who could use which more? Along with Hardy an additional recruit. left after law point assignment was equipping all the agents. I mean, there was a suit and a gun derived from the hunter that had to issue to someone. And there was all the other equipment. Yeah, some might be more hindrance than a hell than others, but I was figuring that standard issue. Just wouldn't cut it.
I believe that day 16 would be a lot easier than day 15, seeing as I wasn't restricted to three agents per team. Although, you know what? It can wait until we finish the break. I know it's been a long day. 